Good morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style, and now, natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel, clicking the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today's video, we are going to be doing a closet purge. It is time. I am actually quite late. I think this is my second one of 2022, and we are almost coming to the end of 22. And we are getting ready to go into the fall and winter season. Let me quickly go over with you all of my criteria, just my very basic criteria for whenever, whenever I do a closet purge. Number one, anything that I have not worn for six to 12 months, the prior season or the season before that. And since we have actually been in COVID, if you don't know, I'm an independent contractor, so I typically travel for work. My clothing has changed some, but not so much. I'm able to wear more not necessarily casual pieces but i'm able to play with my fashion a little bit more and i have found that since i work from home whenever i leave the house i like to get extra dressed up or i want to make sure that i you know feel beautiful or, I, or that i feel cute so there are certain things that i find myself reaching for like for instance it could be two weeks before i actually leave the house and go somewhere of course i leave the house to drop Aiden off to school then i will go pick up my medicine ball and then on fridays he's now we're now back in football season but I mean like literally going somewhere like running errands David and I are hanging out we're hanging out as a family like when I go somewhere I find myself reaching for the exact same things in my closet so there are things in my closet that I did not purge prior to that I need to so this purge is going to be kind of cutthroat if I'm looking at and we're going to go through literally every single piece of course I'm going to speed it up and then when I stop and find a piece that I'm going to get rid of I will explain why okay so basically anything from six to 12 months kind of kind of like pre in the middle of covid something that i have not reached for the next thing is that if it's too big or too small and then after that if it's something that needs to be altered or if it has a tear or anything like that and i haven't actually reached for it and i'm not going to pay the money for it to be altered or i just don't feel like it's worth it it's time for it to go if i'm looking at a piece and i really have to decide whether or not i like it what i will do is i actually put it in the front of my closet and if i don't reach for it within the next month it's going but this is getting ready to be a very cut throat um a very cutthroat purge i wouldn't necessarily say that i'm getting rid of half of the stuff but there's a lot of stuff in this closet that i have not worn that needs to go at this point like i keep telling y'all if i don't walk into my closet or if i'm trying to get dressed and i'm looking at things and i'm just kind of like eh, 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 eh. if i'm looking at it and i don't absolutely love it it needs to be removed from my closet okay so we're going to start i have three ikea actually i have four ikea pack systems like i keep saying i really wish ikea would just send me the packs unit that i need so i can just go ahead and get my clothes done but i actually have one two three ikea pack systems that we're going to quickly go through and then there's a closet to my clothes we will go through those and this is really because I didn't really do like a switch over. So like I said, this is going to be fall, summer, and winter, and spring. We're going to go through all of my clothes. It's, I don't think it's going to be 50, but I think, I think I'm going to have some space. And again, I'm getting rid of pieces so I can actually buy pieces that I absolutely love. If I look at something and I have to think about it or I don't love it or it doesn't speak to me, we're getting rid of it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the first piece that we are going to be getting rid of. This is from Self Portrait. I absolutely love this company. I have two dresses from them. I'm actually on the hunt for a, from a, for a lace dress from them. So this was actually the very first piece that I bought. It is Self Portrait. I got this actually at, I want to say, the Neiman Marcus last call in Tejas. So this was back in 2017. This is what it looks like. If I can find myself of, in pictures of any of these, I will put them like right here. But I have not worn this. I want to say since number one I had a photo shoot and then number two I want to say since like 2018 and I think that somebody else would absolutely love this top I mean it's very intricate very beautiful I just I haven't worn it I haven't reached for it I haven't worn it and actually to be quite honest when I bought it it was too tight or it was too small or a little too snug or constricting for me 
but it was self-portrait and it was more than, I think it was like 80% off, so I bought it, okay? So this is what we're going to be getting rid of next. And then it also did not come with a cami, so I was trying to figure out how to kind of wear it because it is a cold shoulder, but whenever I would wear a cami with it, it would always come out like right here and it wouldn't look right, okay? So this is the first thing that we're getting rid of. Okay, next piece. This is by way of Target. This is a new day. Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, I absolutely love, loved polka dots. But as y'all know, I'm not a print person. And as I told y'all in the beginning of 2022, I am trying to elevate my style. And not saying that that won't include polka dots and not saying that that won't include prints. But this is a very, very basic dress. You have like a shirt dress and then you have the strings where you can tie it. Where are the strings? You have the strings where you can tie it. This was too big when I bought it. Um, it just kind of swallows me. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, this is going to be something that I will see. I'll slide this in the front of my closet to see if I reach for it. Um, I got this by way of TJ Maxx. It is uh, Fen Wright Mason. I actually really love this company. I think this is 100% wool, and it's just like a it's just like a cover up. It's like or it's like that kind of like boule. So it's like this, and then in the back, it does have. Um, does have straps or it does have a tie the reason why i'm saying i'm going to put this in the front of my closet to see if i reach for it because you know i can throw this on with like a sleeveless turtleneck it is for it is three quarters and i can also throw this on with a long sleeve turtleneck the reason why i'm saying i'm going to try this one out and slide it in the front of my closet is i am finding out that because i am petite i don't like the way um jackets and kind of like cover-ups hit me like right at my hips or like right below my hips. I actually prefer my coats to hit me at my knees or to be longer than that. And the reason why is because I have I have I'm short and I'm petite and I'm skinny, but I have very broad shoulders to be petite. And when I when I have when I have like bulky items that cut me right at my hip or they don't come all the way down to my knee, it makes me look even boxier. So we're going to set this one to the side and we're going to push this one to the front. If I do not reach for this, I would say probably within a month of it being chilly here in the Carolinas. The first day of winter, the first day of fall is the 21st of September, so we're like three weeks away. By that time, it will not be fall weather here in the Carolinas. We probably won't get fall weather maybe until like October. Sometimes we don't even get, you know, winter weather until December, January, just, just depending on how the wet, you know, how the weather is going. So if I do not reach for this, I would probably say within a month of it being cold enough or cool enough for this, it will it will probably go. Um, I just wanna see if I reach for it. It's probably okay for me to throw it out now, but I just wanna reach for it and I do just wanna confirm my theory as far as where jackets hit me, okay? Okay, we are going to get rid of this simply because every time I wear this, I actually have to wear something over it. This right here, I'm not really sure who they made this for, but on me, you can see this comes all the way down here and like you have like a half boob out situation. Y'all know I don't do that. Um, I love the color. I don't love where it hits. It hits right at the knee. And for me, when I start walking, especially with this type of material, sweater material, it starts to ride up. I'm finding that I really love, especially with sweater material, that I really love the midi length. So this is going to go. I will say this though. I have three other dresses by this. It's James Purse. This company, I got this by way of Nordstrom's on sale. If you are looking for quality, 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 just kind of like your basic, casual, everyday knitwear, or kind of like that jersey knit, I would suggest to you James Purse. They're not cheap, but they last forever. I've had this, I wanna say since 2017, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Okay. These two I got by way of TJ Maxx and Marshall. So the very first one, which I will not have any issue getting rid of, is a turtleneck. For fall and winter, I love turtlenecks. They keep me warm and cozy. But again, I'm not a print person. While I understand that this is a very neutral color, this pattern, just looking at it right now, is making me very dizzy, okay? And it actually feels so soft to the skin. 
but it's just it's 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 too much okay so here it is right here and then here is the back it's just too much okay so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this one we are going to attempt to style this one. I have worn this a couple of times. I, the reason why I bought it is because I love the color and I love the very simple dark, okay? It's the exact same thing. It just has a very different pattern. So this is our second piece that we are going to move, we are going to move forward in our closet to see if I reach for it. If I don't reach for it, like within a month of it being cool or having cool weather in the Carolinas, we will get rid of it, okay? All right, this was actually one of the pieces that I was on the fence about my last purge. This is from J. Crew. This is an extra, extra small. As a matter of fact, J. Crew carries extra, extra, extra small. I no longer fit those. Well, I mean, at this point, since I've lost weight, I might. But this right here, um, this is a wrap shirt. And this was definitely something that I kept in heavy rotation as far as when I was working. But it just doesn't suit me anymore. I haven't reached for this since I was actually in the office and that again was back in 2017. So we're going to get rid of this and then we will probably get rid of the blue one when we get to the blue section back there, okay? Okay, so this is from J. Crew. I love, 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 love this lace blouse. It's beautifully made, it comes with a cami. But there is no tag on this but I wore this once and I wore it for a photo shoot. This is a zero. It's probably, um, it's probably borderline too big right now, but I think unfortunately I'm going to have to let this go. It's just, I don't, I haven't reached for it. I've had this, I wanna say since 2019. And I haven't worn it. It's it's beautiful, beautifully made. And I actually bought it to kind of like jazz up. Um, to kind of I actually bought it to go with this to kind of like jazz up this top. Because while this is lace, it's very covered. You would probably be okay wearing this to work. But when I bought this, I was kind of in that phase of am I going back to the office? Am I staying home? Am I going back to the office? Am I staying home? So I bought it to kind of like when I decided I was not going back into the office or when they were no longer doing that because of COVID, I kind of bought these, not necessarily to make the, not necessarily to make the outfit casual, but to kind of dress it up or make it dressier than just making it seem like I was going to work. So I'm not getting rid of the earrings, but I, I'm probably, I, if I put this in the front of my closet, I know I'm not going to wear it as opposed to those two items. So unfortunately, this we're going to have to get rid of. Okay, and as y'all saw in my statement jewelry video, I love J. Crew, and when I was able to afford J. Crew, that was because, like I said, I consider them kind of like casual work quirky because you can walk into J. Crew and find a beautiful plaid or a beautiful um, tweed suit in in um, in like a magenta or like a beautiful pink color. So this is an extra extra small. This is just kind of like a cover up. Some some people would probably consider this like a car coat. I wore this in the office. I would belt it because I'm always cold, especially in the office. And then during lunch, I would kind of, you know, go outside and thaw myself out. But I have not reached for this, but I also have not tried to style this. So we're going to throw this in the front of the closet. So we have three pieces that were, that were that's, on, that's on a trial run, a trial basis, okay? And the reason why I say it for this is because number one, I have not tried to style this. Number two, it's one of my favorite colors. And then number three, this is actually very classic. And there are ways that you can make it on trend or you can make it trendy or you can keep it current, okay? So we are going to put this in the front of the closet and we will see like when, within a month's time, if I do not reach for it, we will get rid of it with the next purge. Okay. We are going to get rid of this. This is a J. Crew TP, TP sweater. If you are a lover of J. Crew, then you will know that this TP sweater has been the bane of existence when it comes to a J. Crew customer because there are these this is one of their staples they make them in hundreds of colors every single year of course they keep on trend with the colors and then they make them in prints as well i have two beautiful tp sweaters one is snakeskin and one is cheetah skin that i will never get rid of and they are beautifully made but this one 
It's actually see-through and she is too small. So we are going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Next is another James Purse dress. We are getting rid of this because of the color. It's it's horrid. The color is just absolutely horrid. And then again, it hits me right at the knee. And with these types of dresses, when I start walking, it starts to ride, okay? Okay, we have another possible contender. Um, y'all know, y'all know my issues with animal print. Um, if done improperly, animal print can read very cheap or it can come across very cheap. The two TP sweaters that I just um, told y'all about, the cheetah print and the snake print, those look exquisite. Um, this not so much this is a zara basic from their collection this jacket was 99 dollars. that's the only reason what's giving me pause to throw this out but again i have not reached for this prior to meeting david i took i did a photo shoot in this but i did not i haven't like worn it so i think we can get rid of this okay we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this Okay, the first piece in my ridiculous white dress collection is probably going to be this dress from Banana Republic. Um, this is a size two, so I would probably say at this point in time, I might weigh 100 pounds, if that, like I said before, I got sick and I lost, uh, not significant, but I lost some weight. This is a size two at my heaviest, which was probably back in the beginning of 2020. I actually weighed 132 pounds, so that's why I have a two. Um, but it's just, and this is one of those Pima cotton, or I think there's like Lyocell or Lycra dresses, and it feels so good on the skin, but I just don't like it. It is a little bit longer than, um, a midi skirt, I mean, than a midi length, but I just don't like it. Um, it just, I, I, I don't reach for it, and every single time that I do, I'm just kind of like, I don't like the way that it looks, and it swallows me, so it's just time to get rid of it. Okay. So as you can see that I just pulled this down, this has a tag on it. I have worn this um, for whatever reason. I just have this thing with keeping tags on. I, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. And the reason why I'm kind of bummed or not sure about this one is because I actually had this dress taken in. If you follow me, you know that I get most of my things tailored, especially because of how my size right now. Um, and the before and after for this is, you know, leaps and bounds but this is the reason why i say i have to be very particular and careful when i purchase pieces that have prints on them because i no longer reach for this dress and i no longer like this dress um and you know we all do it. we all have mishaps we all you know have things that we think that we're going to like you know but I just, and it is a fit and flare dress. That is the silhouette of dress that I feel as though fits my body type. But I just, I don't like it anymore. And my pet peeve, which y'all know I don't pay attention. My pet peeve is when someone does a print and then they don't continue it to me. That actually cheapens the look. So you can see right here on the sleeve, it continues. But then on the rest of it, it does not. And then they had the nerve to kind of fold it over. So unfortunately, this is going to be going, okay? If we don't love it, it's gotta go. Okay, this, I'm not even really sure. I got this from ASOS. I'm not even, in this, it doesn't have the tag on it, but that's not the point. I'm not even really sure why I bought this, okay? Maybe I just got caught up in the video of, of the girl and she looked really, really, really cute. I have never worn this out of the house, okay? There's no tag on it. Does she even have pockets? She does not. But I'm not even really sure why I bought this. You have this, you know, the seersucker or the ruching right here. Then you have it on the sleeves. And it is a, it is a fit and flare dress. But this is giving me um, churning butter, little house on the prairie. Not sure why I bought this, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Another TP sweater. This is a blue one. And this is actually an extra, extra small as well. We are going to be getting rid of this one because it is see-through and it is too small. So it's your classic J. Crew TP sweater, okay? Okay, so I would probably say in 2022 is when I started actually shopping at Lulu's. 
um they probably to me or probably to someone who likes to shop they're probably not considered a fast fashion they're probably not even not even moderate they're probably like in the realm i would probably put them like here's forever 21 here's zara here's kind of like lulu's they make some quality stuff and i actually have three other sets from them that i absolutely love but this one not so much so this is a three-piece set it comes with the cam it comes with the sweater it comes with a skirt and then it actually comes with the cami i've never worn this never worn it never even left the house i tried it on for the haul and that was it this is in pristine condition never worn it and actually let me show you the one that i absolutely love that i wear with my coat gaia boots i love this one so much better i love the color i love the fit i don't particularly care for the fit on that one and this one is bulky so it gives me a little more body if that makes sense but it still keeps my shape okay it's i love this one so much more and y'all have seen me wear this one in a video and you've seen me wear it out okay Okay, Forever 21, which means this is 2016. Um, again, this is a sweater dress. It hits me right at the knee. So we're just going to be getting rid of this. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but this is like a forest green, okay? Basic. Ah, okay, so we're probably more than likely going to get rid of both of these. So this one is actually by way of F F K S P. I bought a couple of pieces from them, black owned. This is a duster. Um, this is actually extremely, extremely long. I'm not really sure who they made this for, but we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of this duster. Again, like I said, y'all are seeing in most of the things that I'm throwing out, we're dealing with prints, okay? Um, I have to be very particular about the prints that I buy because I haven't reached for this. I probably wore this out of the house once. I had a photo shoot in it once. It's a duster, it's very long. And then because I have broad shoulders, it's a little tight in here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. I have dust other dusters that I absolutely love that y'all see me wear all the time. And then this dress, I mean, it's a beautiful color, but I don't wear it. This is Jennifer Lopez by way of Kohl's. It is a small, I have no idea if it fits. It doesn't matter because I no longer wear it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. Now, this is midi length and is a little bit longer. So I like the length, but the skirt, I mean the skirt, the dress just does nothing for me anymore. Okay. All right. This is Mia Mai. It's made in, been made, it's made in Italy. That doesn't really matter. This is by way of TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I have actually stopped shopping at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, the store is just too cluttered and the stuff looks picked over to me. If you love Marshalls, by all means, and you find great things there, by all means. It's just that for me, at this point, it's too much work. So this is what this is. It has a green background and it has like little gray specks. While this probably looks so cozy and it feels okay on the skin you have to wear a shell with it i don't reach for it and i've tried again belting this several times and it just never looks right and again it's hitting me at that very weird mark like right where my knees are or like right where my hip is and it just doesn't look good on me okay so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this all right another tp sweater by way of j crew this is an extra extra small we are going to be getting rid of this because it is too small and as a matter of fact there's a hole I'm not sending this to a tailor to get fixed. So we're definitely throwing this out now. Okay, this is a Jackie cardigan or a Jackie set by way of J. Crew. The shell is an extra, extra small. And then the sweater is an extra small. Again, I don't reach for this. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. And there are some snarls. Like you can, well, not necessarily a snarl. It probably needs to be shaved, but I will not be doing that because we're not going to keep it. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this. All right, by way of ASOS, I'm not feeling the color. Um, and it's just, it's very thin and it's very form fitting to the body. Anytime that I would wear this, I would never take my coat off or I would never actually feel comfortable because it's just too tight. When I wear my knits, I like them to be a little bit thicker. It will still give me a shape, but I don't like for my dresses to look like a second skin. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. 
oh we, yeah <laughs> we can definitely get rid of this this is from the limited which means it's a beautiful color and it is an extra small which means this is wow i worked there for one holiday is this this can't be college okay this is probably 2015 so it's time the limited i don't even know if they're still in business or if they're just e-commerce now i thought i threw this away we can throw this away i have so many other cute things to lounge in you see this tag because i was actually selling it um at a, a blogger event but yeah this is by way of target we can throw this out it's just a cardigan okay so let me i will probably never wear this dress again a Again, prints for me is an issue. I don't know why I keep buying them. And um, this is just way too low. I got this from ASOS, so I um, I have it actually actually pinned. I mean, it has like the tier situation going on. But I hesitate to throw this out because this is the dress that I, when I first met David, um, I'm not gonna tell you all the story, but I remember the story. You know, he tells a different version of the story. Mine is the truth. <laughs> um, but I feel like this dress has sentimental value, but I'm just never going to wear it again. It has prints, it has ruffles, it has the world's like longest plunge, the world's deepest plunge. But I just feel like for sentimental value, I want to keep it. But at the same time, though, I did preserve my reception dress and my wedding dress. So those are memories that I'm going to have. But I will never forget the day that I met David. I will never forget the story either. So I feel like I'm, I'm not going to throw the belts away. Um, but I feel like I can get rid of this, but I don't want to. But it's taking up space in my closet. And as a matter of fact, I have not worn this dress since that day. We met in we met in 2018. Um, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Then we got engaged, you know, a couple months afterwards. Um, <laughs> but I think I think I can part with this. Like I said, I will never forget the day. I will never forget the story. But since this is taking up storage or room in my closet i think i'm gonna go ahead and and um and get rid of this i'm gonna set it over here so i can take the belts off and then we'll we'll put it over there but yeah i think i think i think we can get rid of it um yeah we can get rid of it i'm i'm, I'm never going to wear it i know that but it's just the fact that i met david in this is why i'm, I'm hesitating but I'm, I'm gonna throw it out i'm gonna throw it out Okay, so we have reached the end, and I'm lying. I actually have four Ikea units, two have clothes, and then one is like full of shoes. And this is the stuff right here that you see hanging up. All of that stuff I just bought, but I also have to shoot, so that's why it's hanging up there. I need to get like a, a rack to put over there so I can, you know, um, distinguish what I need to, what I can wear, what I need to film, and what can just be displayed in the closet. So now we are going to go into the closet of the closet and we're going to purge all of that stuff. That has everything in there. That has fall, winter, spring, and summer, okay? Shoes and bags, I keep up with those pretty currently. Y'all know that I've bought like one, two, three. I've bought like four or five bags. Of course I'm keeping them, I just bought them. So for shoes and for bags, we're not going to be doing any purging of those. I keep those up pretty, I keep up with those pretty, pretty recently, pretty current, okay? So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go into the closet of the clothes. Okay, so before we go into the closet of the clothes, there are some other pieces that I just went through these two IKEA units. And I'm like, you know what, there is really stuff in here that I do not wear. So let's go ahead and go through those really quickly. Um, and y'all have seen all of these before. This right here, again, with the prints. This print is very beautiful, but I just don't reach for it, okay? This was actually a romper, and then I had my tailor actually open up the shorts and then make it into a dress. It was way too short as a dress, so I would just wear it with like a pencil skirt. But I don't wear this. Very beautiful print, but I don't wear it. This, y'all have actually seen me style this so many times. It's actually a set from J. Crew Factory. I want to make that known. But then the actual um, shell or the sleeve this collar shirt is from Banana Republic, which I need a new one. I get some every year. So you have this right here, and then you actually have the skirt that matches. Y'all have seen me style this so many ways. But to be completely honest with you, I don't wear this. Um, again, prints, animal prints. I don't, I don't necessarily think that it looks cheap, 
but I don't think it looks elevated. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Next, by way of Banana Republic, again, polka dots and prints. I love, the reason why I bought this was because I loved, I loved polka dots, but I also love the fact they took a different take on this and they weren't black and white polka dots, okay? This is a duster. It does have a belt and then it comes all the way down to the floor. It is a maxi duster, but I don't reach for it. I wore this a couple of times, actually never out of the house, just in the house with the head wrap and earrings, of course. But again, if I don't love something, if I'm not reaching for it, it needs to go, okay? So we're gonna get rid of this as well. Next, but what else is another J. Crew TP sweater? TP sweater. This is an extra, extra small. This is a wool one and it's actually long sleeve. So this is for the winter time. This actually started to fall apart the moment I bought it and then I just kept pushing it back into my closet, pushing it back, pushing it back. And I said, you know what? I'm actually going to take the time to either pill this myself because I do have a deep pillar or I'm actually going to take it to the tailor or to a um, cleaners and have them do it themselves. But it's just not worth it. It's scratchy. It's not see-through, but it's boxy and I just don't like it. And then lastly, if you don't know, gray is my favorite color. And one of the things that I love to live in when it comes to the cooler months is a turtleneck sweater dress. But this dress, again, is actually hits me at the knee. And like you've heard me say in this video before, as I'm walking, it is consistently coming up, okay? So we are getting rid of this because of the length, not because of the color, but because of the length, okay? And I'm pretty sure that I can find something that's more quality. This is actually from TJ Maxx, okay? So this is actually 2017, 2016, okay? So now that we've went through it again, let's go ahead and go into the closet of the clothes. Okay, so really quickly, we are going to go through this right here. And then at the bottom, I will show you there's some stuff like right here at the bottom that's hung up. And then I have bins, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing that we are getting rid of is this red dress. It doesn't fit. Um, this is keepsake it's an extra 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 small by way of cmeo fashion and then by way of fashion bunker i love that website y'all heard me rave about it before um they sell very beautiful unique dresses that are quality made i think this dress was like 200 dollars. i actually had to take it in and now it does not fit so it doesn't fit so it's just time for it to go and then it has the ruffles at the bottom okay All right, so my last closet purge, I was trying to figure out whether or not I was going to get rid of this. I have not reached for this once. I did not reach for it last spring and summer. I did not reach for it this spring and summer. Um, you can see right here that I did have my um, tailor um, insert tata. So what I would do is I would just take these off with the seam ripper and then I will go ahead and throw it, not throw it out, but I will give it away. Again, it's for me, it's the prints. I don't know why I keep buying them. I like the print for that moment. And then next season I get rid of it, but this is a maxi dress. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. This is a bridesmaid's dress. Although it is a convertible dress, I don't particularly care for it. So we can get rid of this. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Again, Prince, y'all see, see kind of what I'm getting at with this. Um, this I'm never getting rid of. I love this dress. Y'all have seen this a million times too. Animal print in color. When I saw this dress, it looked beautiful on Emmeline Love. That's where I got it from. And it looked beautiful on me. But I wore this once for a photo shoot. That's it. I've never worn it again. It's a little low and it's also a little big. It is a maxi dress with pleats. And it does come with a belt. But we're going to get rid of it. I've never worn it. I've never felt comfortable to wear it because of this situation. And I never felt that it has actually been worth having my tailor take it in right here. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. We can go ahead and get rid of this. Again, I've worn this once out and about, and then I wore it once for a photo shoot. And as a matter of fact, I believe there are a couple of holes in this. It is a maxi dress. Again, it's Cynthia Raleigh, but, and by the way, it's TJ Maxx, so I did not pay full price for this. I, been, I believe this was a runway piece. Um, again, the prints, beautiful color combination, but the print and just the holes and the way that it fits, it's, it's time to get rid of it. All right, so this is by way of ASOS. 
you can see it has a lot going on again you can see that my tailor inserted the tatas so i will take those out but it's time um this dress is actually quite see-through and i actually had to wear like a mini skirt under it just so you wouldn't be able to see my business but it's time it's it's definitely time This was sent to me by way of Cezanne, never wore it. I think I don't even think I took a picture in it. Um, here's the tag. It's backless, yeah, kind of, but it's, I don't like it. And it, it kind of fit funny. It kind of like fit in the hips and then kind of flared out at the bottom. Don't like it. All right, Club Monaco. I love Club Monaco and I actually started shopping there back in 2017 because there was one close to me when I was in Tejas on an assignment. But it is this shirt dress right here. As a matter of fact, this still has a tag on it as well. It is a size zero. It has a little vent right here. And then here's the back right here. And then you can tie it. I don't wear it. I'm not saying that it's ugly. I'm not saying that somebody else won't enjoy it, but I personally don't wear it. I feel as though that I'm able, that I'm at this point, that I'm able to get more of like, not necessarily a couture, but maybe more so like a statementy shirt dress. All right, two more. This is a maxi dress by way of TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So this is 2016, 2017. Again, with the prints. Me trying so hard. It is a maxi dress. Time to get rid of that. This is a high-low dress, which I, I don't I can't stand high-low dresses. So I don't even know why I bought this. This is actually gal meets glam collection i think this dress was like 200 dollars. i got it for 50 dollars at nordstrom's the print i mean the color i love the print not so much again y'all with the prints now y'all are seeing what i say i'm actually very very picky when it comes to my prints this i would probably say is 2018 2018 2019 so it's it's time okay this right here is a skirt the print i don't like it so we're gonna get rid of it and that's everything right there now we're going to get into the bin okay so really quickly i just kind of want to show you what we're working with so i have a few pieces on top and then i have some in here and then i have some let me just kind of it's it, it is full <laughs> let me push this aside and just kind of show you this one is not as full and then this one is kind of full as well and we'll just kind of go through them and see what we're going to get rid of okay so the first thing that we're getting rid of in here this was a collaboration with draper james again with the prints this dress i absolutely love the silhouette of this dress but the print is is what's doing me in um it was cute while it lasted and it was cute for the collaboration but i have not reached for this since the collaboration and i believe that was 2019 so we're gonna get rid of this all right this while i love the color i did not reach for it this summer so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this it is midi length but i just it doesn't do it for me anymore so we're gonna get rid of this okay this is by way of tj maxx and marshall so this means this is like 2018 it doesn't fit again the print no we can get rid of this all right this is by way of tj maxx looks like this i like it or i liked it because it had a hole in the back but we can get rid of it i would i don't even lounge in the house in that all right next is this dress this is giving me like rockabilly girl meets boy we go steady and i actually had this tailored as well um it is a fit and flare dress but it's not it's not very flattering plus the color is kind of like yeah so we can get rid of this okay so really quickly i just kind of wanted to show you the after that i just kind of you know ran through this bin there are two pieces in here and this was full so i'm going to quickly show you what i'm getting rid of i just kind of wanted to show you the before and after because this was full okay so let me show you what i got rid of in that second bin it's five or six dresses the first one is going to be this white dress let me back up some so it doesn't this is by way of asos so it looks like this it is tiered it does have the puff sleeves and it is actually a 
quite a weird length. I bought this originally to go with my Loewe Obi belt. It didn't look right with that, so I just bought another belt. But it's just time for it to go. And the collar is actually quite yellow, so it's time for this. Like, this will be thrown out. Nobody wants this, okay? Next, this is from Finders Keepers by way of Fashion Bunker. Again, with the prints. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see. It has, like, this snake effect snaky lacy effect detail it is a midi dress i actually got this taken in the reason why i'm getting rid of this is because i wore it once but also even though i don't have tatas it kind of fits very weird in the tatas okay so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this next this is by way of zara this let me back up some is a mini baby doll dress um it's yellow so we're just gonna go ahead and throw this out this i'm kind of sad to throw out and this is wow this is a zero from gap i haven't bought this is from college wow but when i got out of college this dress was just so cute and it was like my travel dress but it's time to get rid of it it is fit and flare and it fits me to a t but it's also yellow and if you don't know um if you have like a tide cleaner center next to you or in your local area i would say try them out because they have two features they have back to black and then they have back to white i have taken several of my black pieces there to make them like pungent and black like black again not like ashy black so if you have a tide cleaners near you try that service out but I'm not in love with this dress anymore, so I don't feel like it's worth it, and it's so old, and it has definitely served its purpose, okay? And then lastly is another dress. This is actually Who, What, Where. This is from Target. Um, it just, I don't reach for it, and it is yellow as well. I don't reach for it. It's another midi dress. It is tiered, and then it does come with a belt. So I don't reach for it. I don't love it, so we can go ahead and get rid of it. So now that we have all of these clothes that I'm just going to kind of pack up, some of them, they will just be thrown out. That's just nasty. Nobody wants to buy those. Um, I feel as though that I have cleansed my closet. I have several hangers now that are available for new clothing. Um, I'm just going to kind of glance around the room to just kind of show you what the before and after is. And I will show you this heap of clothing on my floor. And then I'll just kind of pan around. Um, so right here is not very you you can't tell but i can tell that there is definitely more space in here than there was before where i can tell though is in this first one which is right here i can definitely tell that there is space i mean you see these hangers right here that are hanging they're just kind of normally tucked in there but i can definitely tell that there is some space and then let me quickly show you the heap on the floor. So this is the mound of clothes on the floor. Let me get a little bit lower so you can see actually how high it is. Um, like I said, I'll just throw on a TV show and I will pack it up into two categories. But that is what we are left with. That is what we are getting rid of. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these clothes. And then, like I said before, I have these three pieces right here. It is a jacket, a jacket, or semi-jackets, and then it is a sweater. If I don't reach for those within a month of it being cool here in the Carolinas, we're going to be throwing those out as well. And then these three are actually nice enough to where I can sell them. But like I said, I haven't done that in a while. I will eventually get back on that. But yeah. So I just want to remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then, of course, you know, on the corner, I will put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.